Hey everybody, this is Jim, the Tabletop Engineer, and thanks for joining me in this playthrough video. Today, playing Four Against Darkness again, and I'm picking up right where I left off. I have three heroes. Uh, my wizard had to teleport out because he's down to one health, and I uh, just didn't want to have him get killed. He used a scroll of escape to, to, uh, to jump it. And now my three heroes are in this four-way here, which, um, by the way, there's two up front and one in back. This is not a room, and I have to fight two trolls. And uh, let's go ahead and get to it. So I'm going to use the, these little red markers to indicate which is which. Um, I have to spread them out equally. Uh, my cleric does not have a ranged weapon, so can't really do much other than cast heal on one of my two heroes in front. So the warrior will go. Uh, they are level five. My warrior is plus two to hit, <coughs> so I have to roll a three or higher to hit. I rolled a five, so I do manage to kill one. They're not, I guess they're not that hard. They don't have life, life points. They're just, if you beat it, you beat it. And then my rogue, they out, outnumber, this is not half. When minions are reduced to less than half. So if there were three, I could get to roll to see if this troll runs. But because there was two, I'm not at under half. I'm only at half. So this troll will not run. But because I outnumber the minions, the... Uh, the rogue gets to add plus one for his level, or plus one for each level he is, or she is, uh, to do like a sneak attack. So I get plus one for the sneak attack because I outnumber them, and I also have a plus one weapon. So it's plus two, and I rolled a three. Three plus two is five, so he kills the troll as well. I get to go roll on the treasure table. D6, it's a one, just D6 gold, three gold. And you do want to keep your gold because you're going to have to buy supplies when you finish a dungeon and, and go back to town. All right, so I can increase this to five. I have killed five gangs of minions. Uh, still only encountered one boss. And we are in this hallway. So i tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go... Let's just go down. We may have to backtrack, so we can do that. Um, let's go down this hallway. I rolled a 3-4, which is a round room. Okay, the round room goes down two, one, two, three, and then there is a dead-end door. So what I can do is I can change it. Uh, one, two, three, like that. And then I will put the door on this side of the wall. All right, so it's over here. Uh, let's see what is in this room. Page 83, roll 2d6. That is a, an 8 on a room, and 8 is d6 minions. All right, let's see what kind of minions we have here. Uh, roll. I rolled a 2, which is d6 plus 3 goblins. 4 plus 3 is 7 goblins. Okay, I do have that many. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. All right, so these dice will represent the goblins. And what you do is you divide them as evenly as you can between all the participants. Now I'm in a room, so the, so the cleric can fight. So if I have seven, I can do this. Uh, my cleric fights better than my rogue, so I'll do three, two, and two. That's the best I can do to make it even. I'm hoping I kill enough that the rogue will get their bonus for doing a sneak attack. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, the, now. Oh yeah, I need to tell you what the what the uh, goblins are. They are a level three, so they're level three, and there are seven of them. I don't have a d set. D ten. Oh yeah, I do have a d ten. Sorry, there are seven of these guys. Um, it says they are minus one treasure. They have a one in six chance of gaining surprise. Of gaining. So let's see if they get surprise. Surprise me. A four. They do not. If they do act before the party, roll on their reaction table, because they might run. All right, so I'm, I, I, they did not surprise me, so I will attack. My warrior is plus two, so he's automatically going to hit, because a one is not a critical miss or anything in this game. A one is a one, a six is a six, but a six is an exploding six. So his plus two means I'll always kill one. One plus two is three, so I defeat one. The cleric is also a plus one weapon. Oh, exploding six. That's awesome. All right. So six plus uh, her one 
is seven, which is enough to defeat two of them. But I, this isn't exploding, so I get to roll it again. She can jump over and help. So I'm at seven, eight. That will only kill the her two. All right, so she will she will come over to help, which means one of the goblins will attack her and one will attack the rogue. All right, the there were seven. I'm down to four, so there's no morale check yet. Uh, we don't outnumber them, so uh, the rogue does not get his bonus, but he is at plus, he, he's at plus zero. He has a plus one weapon, which zeroes out his minus one. Well, hold on, it's a minus one, it's a plus one weapon. That is really weird. How does a, does a plus one light weapon cancel out the minus one and just make it a plus zero? I'll treat it as plus zero until I find out otherwise. Uh, I rolled a six. I, you know what? I said my rule was if it's on the if it's on the table, six, eleven. Eleven will beat three. So one, two, three. Nice. This last one will attack my barbarian who is plus two defense. Uh, two plus two is four, which does beat the three, so it doesn't hit. I will attack it. All I got to do is, uh, well, it's an exploding, so I would kill the last one. All right, so that was that was easy. That was goblins. All right, goblins. I get six minis. I have killed six groups of minions now, and I'm hoping that this can connect to this, so I can go back and find my wizard and maybe heal him up. All right, uh, I will go. Oh, I get a treasure. Treasure is minus one. So flip back. Roll a d6. It's minus one. So three is a two. Two d6 gold. That's seven gold, plus seven gold. Okay, uh, we will go through this door and see what's there. That is a three, three, which is a quarter. With and I tell you, I tell you what, I'm gonna I'm gonna have some fun here, and I'm going to extend it just three, like it shows one, two. I'll have it go up. And we will see where this goes. It goes to a door. So let me see. Uh, I need to see what's in this corridor. So I roll on page 83. Page 83. And by the way, that was not trolls. That was goblins. All right. So it is a five. Five on a quarter is empty. Roll on special feature. All right. So we go to special. Page 32. Roll a d6. That's a two, which is a blessed temple. Blessed temple. Let me read this to you. A character of your choice gains plus one, gains a plus one on attack against undead or demons. As soon as the character kills one undead or demon, the bonus disappears. I'll give that to. Well, the cleric already gets a plus one. I'll give it to the uh, rogue. Uh, Blessed Temple, the rogue is plus one versus undead or demon. Okay. Probably will forget, but I'll try to remember. All right. We have a door. Where does it go? I hope a quarter. Then I'll connect it. Uh, six, three is not a quarter. Oh, it is. A six, three is a quarter. All right. At this point, uh, it's five, one, two, three, four. Five. I can just connect it. No, it, it goes straight up. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five with two doors. One right here and one right here. Uh, this one, I'm just going to say this one connects here like that just to seal it off. Like that. All right. So they are. They can take. Oh, I need to see what's in. Uh, what's in this corridor? Eighty-three. Two d six. Adam seven is minions. Roll on a d six minions. All right, minions. Roll a d six. That is a two, which is d six plus three goblins. Seven goblins. Hey, welcome back. Seven goblins. They are seven level three goblins. All right, let's do this. Uh, once again, it'll be three, two, and two. Now, did they surprise me? They surprised me on a one. They do not. So I will attack. My warrior is plus one attack, so I need to roll a two or higher. 
five plus one is six. That's enough to kill two of them. I'll take that. The uh, cleric is plus one. Three plus one is four. That is enough to kill just one. And there are four left, so we're not at the halfway mark yet. Uh, seven, well, less than seven, or less than half would be three. When I get it down to three, they'll do a morale check. The rogue is uh, plus one. Oh, hold on, plus zero. I rolled a four, which is enough to kill one. Now they're less than half. So do they run? On a one to three, they run away. They do not. So this one will attack the warrior. I need to roll a... I need to beat a three. I have plus two. So two or higher will defeat... Six is enough. That one misses. The cleric is plus two. Four plus two is six. That misses. And my rogue is plus two. Two plus two is four, which beats three. So they all miss. All right. So they're not going to run now. So I already did the morale roll. So they will just have to fight. The warrior is plus one. Three plus one is four. He kills his. The cleric is plus one. Five plus one is six. So she manages to kill the final two. And that is it. Up to seven minions killed. Or seven minion groups. I get to roll on the treasure at minus one. Minus one. Six minus one is five. One item of jewelry worth 3d6 times 10. That's 10, 11. That's 110 gold. Yeah. So plus 110 gold. Okay. Um, the minions are done. And I haven't fought any more bosses. So let's keep going. We will go through this door right here. Now there's another door here. If it's a quarter, I'll connect them. So let's roll and see. Three, three is a corridor, and it is three long, so that works out perfect. Three is enough to connect them. One, two, one, two, three squares, just like that. So we are all back in this room where the wizard is, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast my second heal on the wizard. So it's D6 plus one for the level of the cleric. Four, so he's back up to three health. And he has, let's see, I cast Sleep. I did not cast Fireball. And I did cast Thunder or Lightning Bolt. So he's only got Fireball left. Did I cast Sleep? I think I did. I, I, I'm pretty sure I cast Sleep and it failed. All right. Um, or did I? No, I didn't. I decided that it wasn't worth, worth it at that point. So he's still got sleep, and he's still got uh, fireball. Okay, so since they're all back in the entry room, now I can explore this way, and I will go up through this corridor. I don't, I'm not backtracking, so I don't have to roll the one. Um, so let's see what this room is. It is a 1-6. One 1-6 six. One six is a long hallway with a door. 1-2-3, 1-2-3 and a two by three room with a door right there. Okay, what's in this room? Page 83. That's a three, which is a trap. Roll on the D6. Oh, they're all gonna roll on the D6 traps. Okay, and I didn't have, I didn't say that my, you know what? When you're in a corridor, I, yeah, you know what? I was in a, no, I was in a room, and I went into a room. So, how does that work? I was in a corridor, so the two, so the, so technically, the rogue was, was there first. I mean, he was one of the first ones, because it says there's two by two. So, I think I can do this. I can try to disarm it. Okay, so, for a trap... The rogue rolls a d6, adds level. If he beats the trap level or rolls a six, he notices and disarms it. So first I gotta find out what type of trap it is. I roll a d6. It is a spear. It is a level five. The rogue adds his level, so he's one. So I have to, if he beats the trap level, so I have to roll a six. I have to roll a five or six. I rolled a three, <coughs> excuse me, which means I do not 
spear comes out of wall attacking two random characters. All right, so two randoms will get hit by a spear. How am I going to do this? Well, I will go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll roll a d8. One Check out the new RPG and Wargame newsletter. Each week, the tabletop engineer shares news, products, Kickstarters, and much more related to the gaming hobby. It's free to subscribe, so check out the link in the video description below to sign up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, the cleric, and then I'll roll it again, uh, and I'll re-roll sevens and eights. Uh, re-roll. <laughs> Come on. Three. One, two, three. So the rogue and the cleric have to beat a level five roll. They don't get to use their their uh, their their defense. So their def it's just just roll a five or higher. The rogue does get to add their level. When your all characters must make a defense roll, ignoring uh, the target character must make a defense roll. He he does. I think he does get. If I go back to the thing where it says rogue, it says a rogue adds his level to disarm traps and to defense rolls. A rogue adds his level to attack rolls only when out minions. So I guess he doesn't. Never mind. So he has to roll a six to avoid it. I rolled a natural six, so he did, and the cleric. Did not. So the cleric takes a point of damage, and she is down to three. And that room had a trap in it, but no monster. Okay, and this was the entry. And I have one door. So let's see where it goes. Uh, four, five. Four, five is a four-way four way here. Okay. So it goes up to one, two, over two, up two, and over two. All right. I like that. I like how it's looking. All right. So let's see what's in this corridor. Page 83. Roll uh, 2d6. That's a seven on a quarter is a minion. I think I've hit minions in just about every quarter, almost, on this side of the map. So minions are going to be, roll a d6, where minions, minions. Five is d3 trolls. One troll. All right, I think my warrior should be able to handle this, but they all will get an attack, so somebody's gonna kill this troll. The troll is a level five, and it regenerates. So remember, I gotta hit it when, it's, when I kill it. All right, so the warrior is plus one, so I need to roll a four higher. He got a six, so he does kill it. Now, does the cleric also roll? The cleric gets plus one. I need to roll a four higher. She rolls a six, so I chop it up into, bit, into itty bitty pieces and the troll is dead. And that is up to eight minions. All right, and I can go left, right. Uh, I can go any direction I want. Um, let's see. Let's go to the right. Let's go to the right. Oh, I defeated the trolls, so I get a treasure. Hold on. Treasure normal. So let me go back to the treasure table. Roll a d6. That is uh, 2d6 gold. 11 gold. Uh, plus 11 gold. Okay, and then now that I'm, I defeated the troll, I go to the right. I roll 2d6. That is a 4-4. Four, four which is a room. All right, so a 4-4. Four, four. Oh, look, a 4 can attach to this. So I could go, I can put a door here. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's, a, it's 12 squares in total area. So I can just do this to get the same, same area of room. And I get a door here and a door there. So I have a room. And now I need to figure out what is in that room. Let's see, page 83. Roll 2d6. That's an eight. Minions. All right, go to the minions table. Roll a d6. Two is d6 plus three goblins. Two plus three is five goblins. One, two, three. Four, five, 
five goblins. Uh, one, so everybody will have one goblin they have to deal with, and I'll give two to the warrior. All right, let's put him down there like that. Okay, so the warrior will go first. These are level three. Treasures minus one. They have a one in six chance of surprising. They do not, so I will attack. And my warrior is plus one, so I'm trying to beat three, or equal or beat three. Four plus one is five, so I do manage to kill one. My cleric is plus one. Six plus one is seven, but it's an exploding six, so seven, nine. Nine can kill three. One, two, three. And that means this one will attack my barbarian or my warrior. Plus two defense, so I need to roll a two or higher. I rolled a five. The warrior strikes again. One plus one is two, which misses. The cleric steps in, plus one. Six plus one kills the last goblin. I'm up to nine minions killed. Goblins. And there's no door here to exit, so I'll have to backtrack. And let's, uh, let's do the treasure first. That was uh, goblins, which is minus one on the treasure roll. Treasure is three minus one, 2d6 gold. Five gold, all right. Plus five gold to the wizard. All right, uh, so I have to backtrack. When you backtrack, you roll a d6, and you might encounter a monster on a one. I rolled a two, so I am not, I'm here. I should use something like this to indicate where I am. All right. So since I didn't back to, uh, since I didn't encounter anything, now I can keep going forward. Let's um, let's just go up. Let's go up and see that. Oh, good, a six six. I don't know what that is, but it's, a six six is a big old room, kind of like a T shaped. It, there's a door. It goes up two, over one each, up two, over one and a door, over one and a door, and then a solid wall, like that. All right, let's, uh, let's see what's in there. 83, that is a 10. A 10 is a weird monster. Okay, weird monsters are a little more powerful sometimes than minions, not necessarily as powerful as a boss, but they do count as a boss roll or boss killed. So let's go to the weird table, and weirds are sometimes pretty hard. It's a d6. I rolled a five. A five is a giant spider. All right, so giant spider, where are you? Giant spider. Giant spider is a level five. It has three life, three life. and two treasure rolls, and it makes two attacks. Ugh, okay. Now, it's, here's what it says. Characters taking a wound must save versus level three poison or lose an additional life. Due to the spider's webbing, the party cannot withdraw from this fight unless they cast a fireball spell to burn the web. All right, well, I do have a fireball spell, so I either need to defeat it or cast fireball, and then I can run. Well, I don't want to run, so there is a giant spider in here. Just one, but that's all you really need. And it has five health, so every time I defeat five damage, every time I do a total of, it's only got three health points. So basically I'm, I've got to do 15 points worth of damage in five damage increments. All right, my wizard, my warrior will step up and swing. He is plus one. <sighs> exploding. Gotta love exploding. Six plus one is seven plus four is 11. That takes two of his life off. So he's down to one life. Now, when, uh, when a boss drops below half its life, it loses a level. So it's down to level four now. It still does two attacks, but I've still got three more to attack. I've got to do five damage to kill it. Um, does it do a morale check? I can't remember if 
if it drops below half. When a boss loses more than half of its life points, its level drops by one, done, and it must make a morale roll. Roll a die, and if the result is three or less, the boss flees. If the boss flees, you still it's still counted as a kill. All right, so let's see if he flees. One to three. He does not. All right, so my cleric will swing with plus one. Four plus one is five, and that is enough to kill the last life, and that giant spider dies. All right, was there a treasure roll? I can't recall. This was a weird treasure, two treasure rolls. Um, I have killed two bosses. I killed another boss. The final boss modifier is now plus two. That is not a final boss. That's a weird, but you still get XP for it, and uh, I think it counts as a boss for the modifier. If not, I'll find out and I'll correct that, but I'm pretty sure it does. Let's go ahead and use this to try to level up my wizard. I need to roll a two or higher. <laughs> I failed, again, I've lost both my rolls to try to level them up. All right, two treasure rolls uh, on, okay, and there was no modifier, so just straight treasure. One is D6 gold, two gold. Woo plus I'll just change this to an eight. And then another treasure roll is 2d6 gold. I'm rolling in it. Seven. Seven gold. All right, seven. I'll just put a uh, plus seven gold here. Okay. Uh, they are all in this room. They killed the giant spider. But I have not found the, the boss yet. So let's go through this door. If it's a corridor, I'll connect it here. Uh, let's roll the dice. It is a 3-4. That is not a quarter, I don't believe. Nope, it's a round room with another door. But I can connect it because I could fit a 3x3 three three here and then I could connect that door. So it goes here, it goes 3 like that. And I can put the door, I can put the door right to there. I can connect the room like that. Okay, that's what I'll do. You're allowed a little bit of creativity when it comes to fitting the rooms in. You can rotate them. You can sort of modify their size if they won't fit exactly. So you're given a lot of leeway there. But you know, you want to make it fun. But at some point, this dungeon has to end. So that's why I'm trying to connect up doors with uh, rooms. All right, so I'm in this room. And there is no other exit. I've already been through it, so I'll have to backtrack to go to this one. But let's see what's in this room. Page 83 is a 9. Empty. All right. Empty. So, I will backtrack. I roll a d6. On a 1, I get a wandering monster. Ooh, a wandering monster. Now, this is a different table. There is an actual wandering monster table on page wandering where did i find? here it is wandering it's on page 57 wandering monster you roll a d6 one to two it's a vermin three to four minion five weird six boss that is a two which is a vermin all right so i've got to fight some vermin let's see which ones vermin vermin are on page 35 you roll a d6 it is D6 Vampire Frogs. How many? One Vampire Frog. I think I can beat that. I've got a couple minutes left. The Vampire Frog is level four. My, I'm just going to jump in this real quick. If my warrior can roll a three or higher, he wins. He does. So he kills the frog, the single frog. Treasure minus one. Six minus one is five. A jewelry worth 3D6 times 10. 10, 13, 130 gold. Man, that is, that is awesome. That frog spit out 130 gold. All right, so I am now in this room, and I've only got a minute left, so let me go ahead and wrap this up here. This is Jim, the Tabletop Engineer. Thanks for joining me on this game of 2D6 Dungeon. I'll be back very soon with the next episode, which I'll pick up right where I left off uh, at the, in this room, heading to the left. We'll see where it goes. Until then, everybody, take care.